Pediatric Fatty Liver Disease Introduction The liver is an essential organ with multiple life-supporting functions. Though it contains a small amount of fat, it becomes a problem when fat reaches 5% to 10% of the liver's weight, causing fatty liver disease, steatosis. In the pediatric population, the prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is on the rise. This increasing prevalence is in concert with the global epidemics of obesity and is being diagnosed at increasingly younger ages. The prevalence of pediatric NAFLD worldwide is in the range of 9% to 37%. NAFLD comprehends a wide range of conditions, encompassing from fatty liver or steatohepatitis with or without fibrosis to cirrhosis and its complications. In some cases, NAFLD can also result in extrahepatic manifestations such as cardiovascular disease, low bone mineral density, and type 2 diabetes. Risk Factors and Causes The risk factors for pediatric NAFLD are similar to those observed in the adult population. Common risk factors include metabolic syndrome, METS, essential hypertension, type 2 diabetes mellitus, dyslipidemia, central adiposity, Hepatitis C METS and central adiposity predispose children to severe steatosis, inflammation and advanced fibrosis, leading to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. Genetic factors also influence NAFLD, and one gene in particular is the PNPLA3. Similarly, multiple pathways with complex interactions between excess lipid storage lipotoxicity, systemic inflammation, and cellular stress contribute to the development and progression of NAFLD. Management At present, there is no medicine or cure for NAFLD. However, eating healthy, getting regular exercise, and managing weight are the key points that help prevent the progression of NAFLD into a more severe condition. Healthy eating is encouraged in children to help them lose weight. Foods rich in fiber and whole grains are emphasized, along with teaching the child to resist cravings for sugar-loaded foods. A weight loss of 10% has been shown to improve the liver condition. Regular physical activity, at least 3 to 5 times a week for 30 minutes each time, is necessary. Studies suggest the benefits of taking vitamin E and antioxidants. However, they are not a replacement for healthy eating, physical activity and weight loss.